All right, hello everyone, it's Team Rocket Dross here with another Pokemon card opening. And for this video, guys, we're gonna be opening the Pokeball 10 level ball as well as the Pokeball 10. And uh, so this is the new one that just came out recently, guys. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Obviously, it has the newer packs inside. If you guys are not aware what these are, I've actually opened uh, quite a few of these. I've opened the Ultra Ball, the Great Ball, the Pokeball, the Heavy Ball, uh, the Die Ball. So I've opened actually quite a few of these pokeball tins so there's a link in the description to all my pokemon card openings if you guys want to check those out that's where you guys will find them so this is the new one so i just wanted uh, to open them really quick so they do contain three uh, booster packs as well as one coin each so they're actually really cool guys as a display uh they're a little bit like like not sensitive but I don't know they're just really thin so they get like really easily dented and whatnot so that's the only bad part guys but they're actually really cool to have in your collection so make sure to go check them out all right so i got them open guys now let's actually see which one wins so let me know in the comment section below which one you think is gonna end up getting the better pulls i don't know if they have the same packs this one i remember having like fates collide um i believe it was like sun and moon base set uh, and I think this one has um, Sword and Shield base set. So we'll see, guys. I don't know what kind of packs there uh, they have inside of them because it's been uh, quite a while since I've opened one of these. But um, I think this one has Sword and Shield base set, Sun and Moon base set, and I believe Fates Collide. I could be completely wrong, but uh, we'll see right now. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, which one you think is going to win. Uh, for me, I'm kind of going for this just because it does have base set, Sword and Shield. So I'm going to go with the level ball, in my opinion. And I ended up getting these in at GameStop um, you guys can go ahead and go purchase them um, you could also get them online the price that I posted up on screen guys that's just the average price that you guys could get it online so obviously it could be a little bit higher than what it retails at any store the issue is just finding the actual tins and Pokemon cards that's the hardest part uh, oh there we go guys look at this cool Mew coin I didn't know that was a wow it's kind of random being a Mew but this is probably one of the better coins I've ever seen um, or gotten. So in this pack, we ended up getting uh, XY Breakpoint. We ended up getting Sun and Moon Base Set and Fates Collide. So we ended up getting two uh, X and Ys. So we're gonna go like this and uh, we'll see which one's gonna win. So let me know, like I said, in the comment section below, guys, just in case you guys wanna see, it's made in China. And then um, the Pokeball is actually pretty cool. Like I said, they're really thin. I don't know if you guys can hear that. They're as thin as a little bit thicker than probably twice as thick as like a soda can or something like that. There we go. So they're actually pretty cool, guys. So let me just set that aside and uh, let's see which one's going to win. So we're going to leave this one over here. Uh, lucky non see uh, what we ended up getting. So let's go ahead and open the Fates Collide first and see how this one opens up really easy. I didn't even have to struggle with that one. You guys have seen in my other videos how bad I struggle opening these. And uh, this is Fates Collide. Oh, we ended up seeing the code card. It is uh, the other way around, unfortunately. So one one two three to the back so at least we know we ended up getting a good pull at least a hollow so we're gonna start off with a wormadam which is the fighting type uh, we got pokemon trainer fan club we got a, a dino spirit link a really cool lab uh larvitar that's actually a really cool cave right there uh we got a diggly i remember this card now minchino i think i opened uh, my fair amount of fates collide is it Fates Collide? Yeah. Uh, we got a Mandy Buzz, which is going to be our Reverse Hollow. And it seems like we did pull an Ultra Rare, guys. I see something shiny in the back. We didn't get a Hollow. So let's see what we ended up getting. Uh, this is from... Is this Fates Collide? This kind of looks like Phantom Forces for some reason. Um, all right, so Mandy Bus is gonna be a reverse hollow, guys, which is a rare right now. It's gonna be our favorite art of the video. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, out of all the cards that we point to this video, uh, which one's your favorite and why, and then I'll show you guys mine at the end of the video. Um, so it is a rare, which is actually really cool. And for a rare and final card of the pack, it's gonna be, Ooh, there we go, guys. A Mega Aldino EX. 
85 out of 124 so we're gonna set our amanda bus over here as favorite art of the video and let's go over our mega aldino ex that's gonna be tough for the level ball to to take it, uh, the win right Man, I don't have this card, so it's actually pretty cool. So we got the Mega Evolution Rule, obviously, and then we have Magical Symphony as the only attack that does 110 for 3 energy. If you played a supporter card from your hand during this, this turn, this attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So it does 110, and then it does a, another extra 50 to a bench Pokemon. So nice, it does double the damage right there. That's actually a really nice looking card right here. Aldino's always been like that cute Pokemon. It's kind of like the Chansey of uh, this generation. And uh, so I think the uh, Dino's from black and white, right? I think that's the generation. Nice guys. So let's actually look at the centering. Let's just leave it up really quick. Uh, centering wise, this should be a little bit better than the newer ones and it is. So actually the centering is pretty decent. Uh, might be a little bit bottom to the top. And it might be a little right to left the back yeah it's left to right a little bit it's way left to right and top and bottom seem okay but the front actually looks pretty nice so we're just gonna set that aside right there and now let's go for sun and moon base set we'll see what we can pull in this one uh it seems like this one the actual pack is a little bit tougher to open and um this one's gonna be four i need to remember that since uh, I'm going X and Y to Sun and Moon and then X and Y again. So there we go. Hopefully, hopefully you guys get something good. One, two, three, four. And uh, let's see if we can do three out of three pulls, guys. Or at least two out of two, right? So we're going to start off with the uh, Steel Energy. We got a Croc Rock. We got a Brioni. I have a tutorial on it, on her, guys. Or on it. Make sure to check it out. Big Malasada looks like gum in the inside uh, we got a shelter target the maru we got a poplio really happy poplio suit bag seems like it got hit in the back or something <laughs> uh, we got a carvana our reverse is gonna be a cutie fly which is actually a really nice looking uh, card i like how the energy symbol is kind of like on the left side and then you have all the smaller ones right there on the right side actually really cool and now for our rare and final card of the pack it's not an ultra rare guys but it's a hollow rebombi so here we go guys the evolution of cutie fly nice so we ended up getting let me put the reverse hollow on the side over here let's cover up um Jolteon right there. Sorry, Jolteon. I do have this card already, guys, but like I said, I'll take it. I like having two of the same card in my binder. For some reason, I just like having two of them. Um, just in case, for whatever reason, I trade one or something happens to one, I have the backup and I don't have to look for it. I have them in the same spot, so uh, this is that's where this one is going. So let's just set that right there. And now for the last pack of this one, so it has a hollow and an ultra rare. Let's see if um, we could go three out of three, guys. I consider that hollow a, a hit for sure. So okay the code card is racing this way i'm just making sure that we don't see the code card color guys just because um i want to be surprised just like you guys and uh, yeah so we're gonna start off with the poppy toad just chilling like a villain right there having a good time we got a psychic third eye we got a sigilif uh shinx we got a numbo just wandering around like i didn't do nothing who are you looking at me no it's, it's like whistling or something we got a cricket time just you know enjoying the thunderstorm ratata we got a corsola enjoying the sunlight oh there we go guys we ended up getting an arcanine which is not a uh rare it's actually a non-common really nice card though and now for our last card of the pack and the pokeball it's gonna be not an ultra rare guys but a regular rare lilligant so there we go guys let me just set this arcanine over here to the side and uh this is actually a beautiful card right here actually you know what i'm sorry uh Man mandibus uh this card uh our lilligan is actually gonna take your spot as the favorite card of the video so now for the level ball let's see what kind of packs we have in this one like i mentioned before um ooh, i guess not 
it, uh, I was gonna say does it not have a coin it has it in between the packs oh we ended up getting a Mew one as well so this is a new one the actual pokeball I guess it's um they updated it to uh, this one right here with the level ball as well because I looked them up guys like before I started let me just close it up uh, close it up really quick uh, before I uh, started the video I looked it up just to see what kind of packs it was and see if I could get a little bit more information but it was just you know like another reprint of the tints and obviously they added the level ball um, so another Mew coin right there for this one we ended up getting a breakpoint Sun and Moon Base set and Fates Collide. So it does have the same packs right here, guys. Uh, so let's see how we do in this one. So we're going to go uh, like this. So the same way, we were going to start off with Fates Collide. We ended up pulling that Odino from this one. And uh, just like the other one, this one just tears open really easily. Set that aside. I believe the code card's going to be the up. Yeah, we didn't get anything good, guys. We got a green code. I should have just flipped it knowing that um, it was going to be the opposite way, right? But I didn't do that. So let's just see what we end up getting. Hopefully, we just get some cards that I don't have. Uh, we got a Kangish Khan. We got a, a Senshino. A Team Rocket's Handiwork. Just a bunch of bad people right there. <coughs> so Lousis. We got a Snivy. We got a Meowth. Got Tita, uh, Jigglypuff with, um, man, I'm really bad with names, guys, when I'm on camera, but I'm not even going to try. So, Ryolu is going to be a reverse. Uh, it's Snivy, and then the other one has to be... Man, I'm gonna re I'm just gonna put that aside because I'm gonna remember out of nowhere guys and for our first pack guys We didn't get an ultra rare. Obviously, we already know that we ended up getting a regular rare barbarical Which is like the most common uh, Card that you get in that uh, set as a rare. Let's go with the reverse and um Let's see if we get anything good right here. So so far we have to pull a hollow and an ultra rare and uh, Just to tie up so for sure we have to pull something good in this one in order for it to have a chance Right, and I said the level ball was gonna win. So so far guys. I'm sweating it a little bit good thing I didn't bet nothing and uh, We ended up getting the code card right there. Hopefully you guys get something good and uh, one two three four since um, it is Sun and moon, right? So we're gonna start off with the water energy. We got a Pokemon uh, catcher. We got a Metapod. We got a pincer. Really cool pincer. I've actually already chosen this as my favorite art, so I'm not gonna do that for this one. Poplio tutorial. Poplio guys, make sure to go check it out. Um, uh, yeah, it's under my starters playlist drawing tutorials. Carvana. We got a Snubble. Our reverse is gonna be a bounce wheel, which is a common. And for our final card of the pack in a rare, it's not an ultra rare, guys. We need at least a hollow to have a chance at winning. So we end up getting a regular rare Stoutland. No, guys, it's not looking good unless we pull like a, uh, what what is it, like a secret rare or, you know, like a full art or something out of this one. Even a break card. I would consider the break card actually a good pull, even though it's not worth a lot. Oh man, I needed more of the break cards. I actually really like the way those look and if we do get one It's actually gonna be in the reverse hollow spot. So here's the code card right there. It's gonna be three one two three See if we get anything good right here and uh, there we go guys We're gonna start off with the Gyarados spirit link. We have professor sycamore uh, Bursting balloon kind of reminds me of uh, Mario Super Mario uh, Fur fru we got a duck lip. We got an Esper Esper is always just like wondering like just wondering about life. It's like like remembering something it did is like oh man I forgot that I left the stove on or or <laughs> stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's just that's that's kind of the, uh, the look that it has uh, We got a phantom. We got a trubbish. Really sad. Oh, there we go guys We ended up pulling a break card after all we ended up getting the gold duck Break which I don't have so that's actually pretty crazy that we ended up pulling it So I think let's uh, find out what we have in the back to see how it did and we post uh, Like an ultra rare or something or at least a hollow. It's actually No, we ended up pulling another lily again rare But we ended up pulling the gold duck break guys So let me know in the comment section below if you guys think the break is better than a hollow and an EX or the other way around so 
Actually, I kind of like more the break card than I do the EX. I don't know. I, I think they just look a lot better. And I don't have too many. They only have like around three break cards. And look at this. This is actually a really cool looking card. So, Gold Duck Break break evolution rule so let's actually look at it gold up break retains the attack abilities weakness resistance or retreat cost of its previous evolution so i don't know how to use these break cards but i believe that it basically like if you have a gold duck since we have it over here you would use the break card on top of it to like an add-on to the actual card at least that's what i think it is to be honest let me know in the comment section if i'm completely wrong uh, ability hyper transfer as often as you like during your turn before you attack you may move a basic energy from one of your opponent to another of your pokemon from one of your pokemon to another of your pokemon so is it just like an extra ability that it has and sometimes it may have like an extra move that it uses so i wonder if that's what that is so it's kind of like an extra you know that's what it's like half so like let's say this was a gold duck it would just like you know you will have it on top so you can still see the attacks from the normal one and then this is just like an extra ability and whatnot that's actually a pretty cool idea now that i think of it if that's how they did it that'd be actually really cool to 140. nice guys that's actually a really good looking card right here i actually like breaks let me know in the comment section if you guys feel the same uh, they're actually really really nice so in my opinion guys i like the break better than the hollow just because i already have that hollow and then as well as the ex i love exs that's my favorite ultra rares other uh, over like a gx or the v's um and stuff like that so i don't know guys i think i like better the the actual gold duck hollow so let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about that once again the illustrator is five band graphics hmm and then we have these down here so let's actually go over them um man i can't remember the name of the pokemon over here man guys this is gonna kill me i've been trying to remember this whole time so we ended up pulling the break card you know we have rebombi so let's actually look at the pokedex entry um so it rolls uh it rolls up pollen into pups it makes many different varieties some used as food and others used in battle sorry guys it's just really small and i'm it's really hard to read obviously the ex doesn't have anything and then we have our, our favorite art of the video which is gonna be the lilligant actually a really nice card I don't know. I think just the colors, guys. They're really bright. The the green and the red, they just stand out big time. It might also be because of the background. Since the background's a little bit more faded, it's kind of a little bit more dull. So the vibrant colors of the green, of Lilligan, I guess, uh, just make the card stand out overall. So it's actually kind of spooky Pokemon, to be honest. It's, it's like if I was in the forest wandering around and then a Lilligan just came out because I feel like it's almost like a the same size as a person it's actually looks so the height is actually three feet and seven inches which is it's pretty small but um still it's kind of creepy I'd kind of be creeped out if I saw a Lilligan and like randomly especially like a sunset I don't know it seems like the sun is going down I'd be kind of creeped out um but yeah this is gonna be my favorite art of the video guys and now let's actually read the Pokedex entry so even even veteran trainers face a challenge in getting its beautiful flower to bloom this pokemon is popular with celebrities oh there you go celebrity pokemon right here but that's gonna be my favorite art of the video guys let me know in the comment section which one was yours and sorry little buddy i completely forgot your name so i might just put it on the screen right now just because i'm embarrassed guys and uh, like i said before like i always remember this kind of stuff or forget this kind of stuff on camera it's just something that tends to happen you know so um yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys don't forget to let me know in the comment section below which one you guys think won the pokemon ball or the lab ball and which ones you guys chose and uh, yes i guess i'll just catch you guys on the next one team rocket draws out